Alright guys, how are you all doing? I'm PST here and today we have something interesting. Firstly, we have AMD is selling Ryzen 7 5800X 3D processor at the price of 329 US dollars basically. Right now you're seeing it's out of stock, right? But the pricing is listed as 329. We also have 5800X Ryzen 7 5800X processor selling at 249. So it's probably this is the, the lowest ever we've got from AMD. And by the way, 5800X 3D is still quite fast. Like, even compared to 7600X or 7700X, they're quite fast. Even though their pricing is terrible. Like, 7600X is 299 and uh, 7700X is 399 So, this processor is still a very good deal, even though it's out of stock. But I believe in other places, it should not be out of stock. And next up, we have PowerColor teasing their own RT... Uh, Radeon GPU, not RTX. Uh, it's Radeon GPU because they're the you know the AIB partner of AMD, and they have teased this. And well, I have to say it's it's very unique design. I have to say it's just a teaser. It doesn't really tell the whole picture here, but it does tease a lot about the design. Like <laughs> it looks very cool, devilish. I like I can say. So yeah, they're very excited to see what they're gonna bring in with the. 7000 series so yeah we'll see next up we have Xiaoxian has released these two processors that's surprising it's probably the uh, third uh, processor maker to bring in you know server based processors basically and this is a KX6000G and KH4 40,000 oh that's a huge number have been officially released basically and if you look into it that's right this is a KX6000G slash 4 i don't know what that means but yeah this is the server based uh cpu they're bringing in which is very interesting to see that because they're you know i i believe it's, it's still in chinese uh chinese based company uh, or remain in china for now but maybe at some point it will you know expand to the whole world but we don't know uh but yeah they're bringing in these two server based processor and they're, they're quad cores by the way so yeah very interesting to see how they're gonna perform i believe not that great but still i cannot judge it right now we have to see the performance i guess but yeah uh third gpu maker uh, cpu maker i believe that's very exciting then again is it though i don't know we'll see and next up we have the dlss update for uh nvidia well gpus or the dlss 3 update i should say and this is uh f1 2022 uh, the, the update is available right now according to this article from video cards here and the performance boost is up to 2.5 times which is nice of course fist coming i mean forge in shadow torch uh fist i like the name fist uh will be available in november 4 or 7 oh, i'm seeing november 7 boosting performance over two times which is again great performance flat sim obviously uh right now it's in beta right now but uh, the main uh, update will be coming in november 11th and we don't know the performance yet because it's going to be coming soon. And November 15, we'll be have uh, Destroy All Humans 2 reprobed. And it's going to be having uh, two times of performance increase. So, which is great. Again, and of course, uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales. Such a good game. Launching in November 18 in PC, by the way. And yeah, there, it's also going to support DLSS 3. So, these are the games that are coming real soon. We also have DLSS 2 update here. And if you look into it, Sagboy, a big adventure. Interesting name. I will try the game. Uh, boosting performance by up to 2.5 times, which is again great. PGA Tour 2K23 will be available, and the performance is 70%. Not the two times, but I guess I mean it works. Uh, yeah. Or well, Cross Out Supercharge available, and WRC Generation and the Chant are also available in November 3. So yeah, excited to see what they're gonna look like. More games coming for DLSS 3, I guess. So, NVIDIA has a lead here. And we have something, a leak, basically, from HXL. And this is a leak for an unreleased Core i... I guess it's Core i3? Or Core i5? Yeah, it's Core i5, basically. The Core i5 3400, which is an unreleased version of uh, Raptor Lake. I mean, the Raptor Lake hasn't been, in, you know, in the full throttle yet. But, yeah. The 13400 is he, uh, not yet released, but... We also well, already have a CPU-Z test, and in the single core, we have 
and in the multi-core we're getting 65 91.5 which is nice i mean uh, we don't have the comparison here but i believe this is a really good score it has to be right so we'll see and it's a 65 watts because you know 3400 non-k model or do, do they have not a k model i don't think so yeah they have 3600k but they don't have 3400k so they, they have 3400f yeah so yeah 3400 65 watts getting 729 and cpz uh, single core which is great i believe that performance will be beneficial for gaming has to be next up we have mamama underscore us sharing this information and that's the asus predator a30 and it's already been listed in amazon and if you look into it, it's not available, basically. But it has been listed. And you can buy it, I guess, soon or sooner or later, hopefully. And we already know what A380 is. And, well, Ace are bringing in their, probably their first. Is it their first? I could be wrong, but I think this is their first uh, GPU. And, I mean, at least for Intel, it is their first GPU. So, yeah. Acer, this, this card is oddly looking. Because it's a blower style. Yeah blower style i mean it's not odd but it just doesn't really go well with the, the current system of cooling so i guess blower style i don't know how it will perform but i guess it's not a high demanding gpu anyway so less heat will be produced hopefully so yeah we'll see and lastly we have this uh hw bot score here and this is a world record for the fastest rtx 4090 and of course who else can do that that's the nvidia uh, GeForce RTX Hall of Fame coming from Galax, of course, and it's getting around 3570 megahertz. That's absurd. Oh my god, that's a lot. And it's getting the first prize for the rank, of course, out of 520 of them. And out of 32, it's getting the first prize, of course, the RTX 4090. So this is the fastest GPU existing. And of course, well, let me let me also mention this that it's done in ln2 liquid nitrogen so yeah it's not a realistic score but yeah it's a world record and it's getting around 31,096 marks which is by far the highest and again doesn't really matter it's just hall of fame doing its hall of fame stuff all right that is it for today i hope you enjoyed the video and of course uh, like share and comment and comment below and what do you think about the power color AMD uh, Radeon GPU, of course, it's, it's, it's looking like it's going to be nice, hopefully. And the AMD 5800X3D has been dropped in pricing. So, would you get it? I mean, you should. It's a good deal still. Because it's, it's the fast... I mean, it's still quite fast in terms of gaming. Maybe not in productivity, but it's still in, very fast in gaming. So, it's quite a good deal, I have to say. And, of course, Hall of Fame. <laughs> you know, it's just Hall of Fame. All right. Have a good day.